welcome to my vlog. Well, yeah. Shadow Palm Cemetery, it's a party up in here. Show me love. Yeah. Get in on the vibe, just subscribe. Whoa! Okay, well, you can see I'm doing a project today because I'm wearing my project shirt and uh, my good dress pants. I'm not kidding. They're really my dress pants. So, um, I uh, went to Home Depot and got some of this thick foam today because today I'm going to be building my crypt, as I mentioned yesterday. Now, what I had to do is I'm going to take two of these six-foot pieces and use those to make the top of the crypt. And the trick was I had to cut it so that the top would be not rounded, but cut on each side to give it sort of a cryptish look. So what I did is I took my trusty old uh, <coughs> um, foam cutter, hot wire foam cutter. Truth is, not that old. Eh, relatively trusty. Oh, and uh, for the NEC 12, there's the, uh, the part I told you about. Works awesome. Really does work really good with this. Got it used for really cheap. Gotta love it. And what I did is I took a uh, metal ruler and stuck it on here. Marked off the spot. And then I didn't have any clamps with me, so I just used these jumper cables to hold it into place. Classy. Real classy. So that I was able to use that as a guide and run the big piece, one of these big guys, through at an angle. So that I wound up with this. The reason I have the uh, bricks on it, I'll tell you in a minute. Yeah, okay, it looks a little crappy right now. But actually, after I sand it and do the heat gun thing, it comes out looking pretty good. So if you take a look at it, at the edge, you can see that it's it comes up on an angle, straight, and then down on an angle. So it kind of looks like the top of a crypt. Now I'm going to sand it down so it's nice and smooth. And then I'll go over with the heat gun and make it nice and rough, if that makes any sense. I want it to look old. So, uh, but anyway, I, I was just going to use the one piece. and But when it was cut, I could have gotten away with it, but it looked just a little light, a little thin. And I didn't want that. I want it to look like a big, heavy, crypt top. So I glued uh, another piece to the bottom of it. And that's why I've got the bricks on here holding it down until the glue sets. So now it's nice and thick. And I'll sand the edges so it all fits together nicely. And uh, that way it'll look like a nice, big, heavy crypt top. So that should, that should be nice. So now I just need to uh, cut my side pieces down and uh, shape my side pieces. Well, side pieces, side pieces. The long side pieces and the short side pieces. Short side pieces, I need to cut those in about half. And the long side pieces I need to shape, and I need to shape both of them. And then I think I'm going to do the same thing that uh, Yard Hunter 5 did, which is drill holes in each of them and have little pegs sticking out so that they can fit together. I also got some Velcro I'm going to put on the inside so I can use some Velcro to fasten them a little tighter uh, to hold them in case of wind or whatnot. And uh, then I'm going to put some dry lock on them after I shape them. And... Uh, let them dry overnight and then hopefully tomorrow do the uh, detail painting and get it looking good. I don't know. We'll see. Keep my fingers crossed. Hopefully it'll come out. Okay, the uh, short sides I cut down to uh, 20 inches uh, because each one of these is 2 inches thick. So I wanted to make room for, you know, compensate for the 2 inches on either side of it for the long pieces. So they'll fit, you know, in like this on the inside and uh, I drilled the little peg holes and what I did is I used a numbering system I numbered them so in other words four here will match four there and three will match three and one will match one okay well I'm having trouble with um, you know uh, uh, what are they called um, uh, Words. I'm having trouble with words today, but it all makes sense. Uh, that way I could keep track of which ones go where so that I've got them all lined up so that it doesn't get all lopsided when I try to put it together the wrong way. Um, now when I paint it, they may get painted over and I'll just write over the paint um, or mark them somewhere else. 
because uh, they're going to be painted on the outside, but I think I might do a coat on the inside too, just in case, so if I have it open a little bit, it still looks believable. Um. Okay, I'm going to get a little jar, and every time I say, um, or uh, I'm going to put a quarter in it. And by the time I'm done, done vlogging, I will be a very rich man. Um, I think. So anyway, that's, that's how I'm doing that. Uh, you can see I drilled a little holes here. And I'll coat those in dry lock so that they're a little sturdier in this hole here on each of these. And uh, we'll see how it works. That, along with the uh, Velcro, I think will hold it together okay. Okay, I uh, sanded it down. Uh, now I'm working on the, the cap. And I sanded that. Um, shoot, I think I moved it too quick. It's not exactly set. I'm going to have to move it back. But I uh, sanded it, and then I, uh... Cha-ching! Quarters in the jar, baby! Took the heat gun to it, because I really wanted it to look like really just a worn stone. You know, just really, really worn down by age and abuse. And so, it's always hard to tell how this is going to look until it's painted, but, uh... I think it's... it came out okay. We shall see. Okay, I got the first coat of, uh, well actually the second coat of, because uh, I sort of went around in a circle, um, of uh, thin, or, uh, uh, dry lock on it. So those are the sides. There's the top. Now hopefully tomorrow I'll do a little bit of touch up with dry lock and then do the, uh, the painting with the... Uh, you know, a darker color, and then a little bit of dry brushing or whatever I need to do. Now I uh, put some cracks in the bottom here, and I, I took this idea from Yard Hunter 5 again, because uh, I thought it was a brilliant idea. He made uh, holes in the bottom look like cracks so that he could put the uh, his fog machines and his fog chiller inside it, and blow fog out both ends, and I think that's just a great idea. So I did the same thing here. Hope he doesn't mind, and uh, thank you very much for the idea. Okay, I'm done for the day. Uh, cleaned up some. I still have to go out and get the rest of it in case it rains. Uh, got a shower because I was beat. And because, you know, it's um, Saturday. Um, that turned out to be a much more difficult project than I thought. I thought it was going to be kind of simple. Um, I thought the hardest part was going to be getting stuff home from Home Depot, but um, it actually, it's only, you know, I still have to uh, put it together and paint it, but uh, it's, it was harder than I thought. Um, oh, I've got some uh, new subscribers I'd like to welcome today. Uh, first one is Pumpkin Man 3211 Pumpkin Man 3211 and let me pull up his channel here. Oh, yeah, he's, uh, he has some really cool uh, videos from uh, King's Island <coughs> Halloween. Um, he's also really, really heavily into, um, into Halloween, as we all are. So, <laughs> cool. Welcome. Hope you enjoy my channel. I know I enjoy yours. Uh, the next one is Sean5200. That's Sean 50, five, uh, 5200. Um, and his channel, he's got a, a several different playlists, but he's got two playlists dedicated to Halloween props. has some real cool Halloween props on there. Very cool. Uh, thank you for subscribing, and um, I hope you enjoy my channel. I know I enjoy yours. And the next one is Jim Balimbus, I guess it is. Jim Balimbus. Um very cool haunt. He's got a really nice haunt. Uh, I'd love to see more of it, and I hope you do a videotape of your haunt this year. I would love to see it. So thank you so much for subscribing, and love your channel, and I uh, hope you enjoy mine. And thank you all. Oh, hey, a uh, special thanks um, to Hyperflex Harrington 5 who um, sent me an email letting me know he uh, put a uh, shout-out link on his featured video for, for me, um, bringing people to my uh, channel, which is really, really cool. Thank you very much, dude. I appreciate it. 
And if you haven't seen his channel, go check it out, man. He's got tons of really cool stuff in there. And he's an awesome dude, so uh, make sure you subscribe while you're there. All right? Thanks. Okay, well, I think that's about it for today. Um, I'm pretty beat. I'm just going to kind of chill out. And then tomorrow I get to get up and do it all over again. I need to, uh, I really want to try to finish that up this weekend. Um, so I'm going to, uh, I'll probably videotape some of that while I'm doing the detailing and the painting and putting it together. But I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be a real nice add to the haunt this year. Okay, everybody, um, thank you for watching and um, talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye. Later, dude. Thanks for watching.